Hi, my name is Teresa and this is my channel Homestead Life. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you might have heard me mention going to Hatch, New Mexico to pick up some green chilies. So behind me, you'll see four burlap bags full of chilies. So it's time to work on those. We did pick up a total of six. We had the other two roasted while we were there and we've already peeled and put those into Ziploc bags and they're sitting in the freezer waiting to make some green chili this weekend. Today is Tuesday. We arrived back on Sunday night, extremely late. And so it is time to process some of these. We have two bags of medium, we have an extra hot, and we have a hot. Now, the one that really needs to be processed pretty quickly is gonna be the hot. It seems to be a little bit older, and if you see any of these chilies here, you'll see that they're getting a little wrinkly. So we're going to want to take care of those so that they don't go to waste. So join me while I'm doing that this evening. We're gonna move over to the sink where I'm going to put them in the sink and we're gonna get them rinsed off to start with. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start by putting on some gloves. We don't want to touch these chilies directly because they are hot and that's gonna seep into our skin. Just simply moving these bags around, um, I felt that on my skin, even though I haven't directly touched the chilies. So just definitely be careful of that. I have my hair up and out of the way so that I'm less likely to try to move my hair, touch my anything touching my face. Be careful if you have to stop and go to the restroom or touch any parts of your body. Make sure that you wash your hands quite frequently because this could burn. The chilies that we had roasted while we were there, we had kind of a peeling party in our hotel room. My daughter, my son-in-law, and myself, we stopped by Walmart first, grabbed some, um, not as nice of gloves as these, but some gloves and some baggies and proceeded to peel what had been um, roasted for us there. So while I don't have a roaster yet, I have one that's in the middle of being shipped. We are going to do these um, chilies in the oven under the broiler. So well, let's get these in the sink and rinsed off. Okay, like I said, we're gonna start by putting on our gloves. And this is very important. I cannot stress that enough. Um, I have been known to peel chilies in the past without gloves on, and you're gonna wanna make sure you don't have any rings on, any watches, anything like that as well. So I take off all my jewelry. I have my sink stopper on this side of the sink. We're probably gonna end up with two sides. We're gonna start, like I said, with the hot, so I'm just gonna kinda burn this over. And luckily, it really wants to come out of here. And I can smell some of the juices and this is why we want to process these now. Now also the fact of the matter is we have a much more humid climate here in my area than in Hatch or, you know, El Paso, which is where we actually stayed. And what will happen is with this more humid climate, it's going to um, cause these chilies to potentially grow mold or things of that nature. So that's another reason why we are getting these ones roasted a lot faster. So I'm gonna just go ahead and rinse these off. You'll see that there's probably gonna be a few that have seen better days and that's fine. We just wanna get these try with some, uh, actually I don't want it to splatter on me. And you don't want it to sit in water either because then it'll be kind of soupy. So, while I'm rinsing these off, We're just trying to make sure to get off 
any of the dirt and whatnot because these came directly from the field. You see there's a few of them that are a little on the not so happy side. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm gonna run over to the, the oven and turn it on to broil. And because I have a double oven, I was able to do, I'm able to do more batches. I'm gonna take one of my cookie sheets here, and you can just use a regular cookie sheet. You don't have to have one of these inserts, but I am going to be putting it on the rack here, and I am just going to place them. Let's see if I can show you a little bit better. I'm just gonna place them spaced out a little bit. but close to each other to make as good a use of the space as possible. And I am going to be able to do, take that extra stem off. I'm going to be able to do two trays at a time between my um, double oven. Now, I don't have full trays, like full um, full cookie sheets. If I did, I would totally be using those. So there's one, and here's another. And I know that some people uh, might want to use some cooking spray or something like that. We're not trying to cook these, we're trying to actually just char them. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm trying really hard not to cough because these are really strong. And these are just the hots. These are not the extra hots. I do have an extra hot. I'm hoping and kind of praying that um, I'll be able to do the extra hot in my um, roaster that I have on order. And I did order that from Amazon, so I'm hoping that it will be in sooner rather than later. And I'm gonna prep one more cookie sheet, just because I want to have kind of an assembly line going. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these in. the oven and I'm going to do the bottom oven as well and we're going to set our timer for seven minutes okay so let's take a peek at these and it's looking just about the way it should Look at these, how nice and blistered they are. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to take them down here and I'm gonna want to, I'm gonna wanna turn them over. So we're gonna turn them over so the other side will get nice and blistered as well and roasted. Come here and maybe fingers might be the better way to do it. I'm not sure because it's on the move. And you might hear some popping noises and that's okay because you're actually going to um, to try to escape. Okay, so we've got that side turning. And this one, I need to turn this one over. Okay, now back into the oven, it's gonna go. This one is gonna be another five to seven minutes. Number seven. 
and we're going to grab both the ones at the bottom. And I'm going to bring these up here. And I am going to turn them. And we are just going to do this assembly line style in the sense of I have other, other ones ready to go. And I can smell the chilies. Like I can, it, it's very aromatic in here. You can definitely smell it. Actually, you could smell it in the, the car too. Should have seen the, the car that we had. It just, we would have gotten pulled over people. I mean, you could just smell the chili. Okay. So we're gonna put that back in again for five to seven minutes. And then once we do that, we're gonna pull it out, go over to the island. We will put them in individual Ziploc bags and seal them. And not individual, like they're not each gonna go into a Ziploc bag, but we're gonna put a batch into a bag, let them sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll be able to start peeling those. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out this first one here. And this one over here as well. Another minute or so. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna bring it over to the island and bring you over to the island with me so you can see what we do next. So I'm gonna pull this one out as well. Let it sit for just a second. I have too much stuff going on over here. All right, over to the island with this one. This one. Let me pop two more in. Let me grab them from over here. So I have one more. Get on the bottom first this time. Timer for seven minutes. Another one, not so fancy, of a tray in there as well. Okay, now that we have these on the island, I'm gonna take one of these containers and simply use my hands, they're not super duper hot, and we're gonna go ahead and put these in these freezer bags. Now, they are kind of warm to the touch. They're not super hot. You can tell some of these are a little more charred than others, which is cool. That's fine. It's all good. <sighs> Smelling here is amazing. Super exciting. Okay. Once I do this, I will then load up this tray. Again, we're going to seal this, just kind of set them in this mold out of the way. And I'm going to continue to do this until all of the chilies are processed and sitting in this mold. Okay. Last batch. Ooh. Okay, I can turn off this oven. I'm glad I waited until this evening to do this because it has been still scorching hot here in the Texas area. So, trying to do this when it's 100 and some odd degrees during the day. Mm -mm. My air conditioner does not need to be working that much extra. So, we are going to go ahead and let these ones sit and steam. 
and as you can probably tell, I have some weird stuff. Huh, interesting. So, as you can probably tell, we have two containers here full of stuff. And what I've been doing is letting these steam. So I am going to now take this one out, everything out, and we're going to start peeling. Okay. So now, I don't need these anymore. Let's take these out. They have been sitting here steaming the longest. They're still warm, but they are not super hot. As you can see, there's some juice in them, which is great. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take these out as well. As well. Look at that. Poop, 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 and poop. Okay. So I'm going to take, and one of these is going to be where I'm putting the trash, and the other one is going to be where I am putting the actual peeled chili. My cutting board just because I want to put these on the cutting board and let the peeling begin. Now, I haven't peeled these before doing it this way, so let's see what this is kind of like. And I might need to wait till tomorrow. I don't know. This is going to be the trash. to let them steam even more. I might want to let them cool down a little bit more. I'm not sure on that, so we'll see. This is not quite coming apart the way that I want it to. So, I may let it sit and steam a little bit more. Let's try this out. I might need to blister them even a little bit more. Nope, this one's coming off good. So it looks like then it's just an issue of peeling them. Now the hot ones and the extra hot are going to be the more difficult ones to peel. And the reason for that is they are tinier and more delicate. Okay, so if you're doing this, don't be too concerned if, and I'm not necessarily trying to get rid of the seeds, okay, I am just trying to get the chili. And if you have a little bit of the skin on, it's still fine. So there is our chili. Chili number one. labor of love, right? Only someone who loves green chili is going to go through this kind of effort. And you want to make sure not to get the juices on your hands. Like, see how I've got some space here? I want to make sure that I, between the glove, I'm going to want to make sure that I don't get any of this on my hand or it is going to burn, burn baby burn. If you have nails, you can kind of use those to help you scrape these if you need to. That's what I've always done. Um, let's 
some of these, like, like I said, the hotter the chili, the harder the peel. So this is what I'm gonna be doing for several hours. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do green chilies and peeling them. I'm gonna peel one more and then we will be, I will let you guys fast forward to being done peeling green chilies and seeing what the outcome is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags for me to peel. Here we are a couple of days later. We started this on Tuesday. It is now Thursday morning, super early. And I finished finally peeling all of the hot green chilies last night about midnight. Now, no, I didn't peel straight through. I kind of gave up that first night at about midnight. Um, I started this a little bit later with the roasting just because of the temperatures that, that we've had here. And this stayed nice and warm because I did put it in a cooler bag to kind of keep it warm for um, peeling purposes. When I was getting down to the last couple of bags, I did have to put them in the microwave just to warm them up. They peel so much easier when they're warm. And I finally finished up, like I said last night, about midnight, I wanna say about, yeah, about midnight. And so, this is what we have. We started off with nine bags of roasted chilies. We now have three gallon bags of peeled chilies. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator. And tomorrow, we're gonna be processing more green chilies, which will be Friday. And we're also gonna be doing a lot more this weekend, which I'll be filming those in different stages. We have our roaster that's due to come in Saturday morning. We're gonna roast up the rest of these chilies. We're going to do some pork green chili batches and canning some of the chilies and things of that nature. So hopefully you'll join me for those other videos. That'll be me and the rest of the family. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.